guys welcome to another video so today's video we're going to be trying the new l'oreal infallible pro matte well it's not new but i guess they came out with more shades so we're going to be trying that today and i ordered it from amazon now i've used one one i got from walmart which was classic tan but i believe this was an old shade so that wasn't a new shade one of the new shades was Sienna, and it's 355 Sienna. Let's have a look. And I also picked up the foundation, and I got the shade 111.5 and 111. So 111 was soft, it's soft sable, but you can tell the difference in the packaging because it's like it, it's an old package because of the black. The black is old and the red is the new one. So this is 111 soft sable and this is 111.5. So I guess they gave in between shades. This is the 111.5, which looks very, very close to my shade, my foundation shade. And this is the 111 and I think the reason why I didn't get it before was because they only had like cocoa and then a dark shade and neither one of those were even similar so as you can see that is way too light for me so I think what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use the 111 as like my concealer and highlight and then the nutmeg for my all-over foundation so we're gonna see how this goes. Choose the milk for primer today. Now let's do the light shade. Yeah, that's way too light. Or my all over. And we're gonna use nutmeg for all over. Hurry up. <laughs> it's going to dry, right? Okay, let's blend out. Mm. It has some This is just a sponge from Shop Missy. The coverage is really nice on this. Okay. Yeah, the coverage is really nice. I'm gonna get my brush to further. So this is just the coverage with the amount of product that you guys saw me put on. So this coverage is nice. It doesn't feel like anything is on my face. Mm. This would be a good everyday foundation so far. Now for a concealer, I've already had the this one, Infallible Full Wear, and this was in Honey. 
And so I ordered from Amazon the almond shade. Because honey, I feel like it's more so just my skin tone. It's not very light. It may look light on camera, but not really, really light. Now the shade Honey, I wanted to use as more so like a highlighter, highlighter, as a lighter shade. That's kind of real light, huh? Ooh. I'm gonna take my brush first. This concealer is thick. Okay, I'm gonna take my Huda Beauty and Kunafa to set this. I think baking is my favorite part of doing makeup. I don't know why. Okay, now I want to take classic tan to put it underneath my eye. While I dust it away. That powder. Just the places I highlighted, I want to put classic tan. Now I'll take the Sienna and use that all over my face. Okay guys, you know lately it's been the NYX spray for me. Okay, time for the lip. We're gonna do a new lip today, of course. BFF4 by ColourPop. To line lips. Take Muted by Juvia's Place Lipstick. This lipstick is really, really creamy. Really, really creamy. And I'm gonna take this Ruby Kisses 24 Karat Gold Lip Gloss. It's a clear lip gloss. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Trying the new L'Oreal Infallible um, shades, the powders, and whatnot. And so far, I think it's good. I think these drugstores are doing an excellent job and producing products that really, really work. 
but so far i think it's good it's raining today so i know i'm not going anywhere i'm gonna try to find me a good movie to watch that's it but yeah i think it's good i'm gonna give it a try one day when i do leave the house to see how it wears on oily skin because i am oily but right now my face is matte and it doesn't feel tight and it doesn't an oily girl can usually tell when a product is going to produce more oil and make her like extremely oily but right now i feel like this product would at least give me five to six hours of just being mad like i won't be extremely oily so we'll see one day just not today because of the rain so if you enjoyed this video using the new l'oreal products make sure you like comment and subscribe and of course i'll see you in my next video bye guys